Hello everyone, my name is Anton, and today I want to discuss with you this RADX Kubi A7A board, uh, which was sent to me by RADX for free, so I want this full disclosure here. Uh, also they sent for me this Kubi A5E, Probably it will be in one of the more latest video because right now I have some issues with setup in it. Full information you can find in article like this video has supplemented articles. In the description you can find more information about all this stuff. So uh, let's go. A few observations before we begin. Uh, I prepared this table and in my opinion it's great reveal positioning of this board. So this board it's super cheap. Uh, actually it's compatible to the only competitor in my opinion it's only rock chips boards for now because uh, the price is super low, amount of peripheral devices is super high, uh, amount uh, of tops pretty high for this site. NPU that is used. It's very silicon NPU. I already had a few videos on my channel with boards on this NPU. One of them was Debix A for, uh, with NXP chip on it. The second was Hades board, super old Hades board. Here it's the next generation of this NPU chip, but in general you will not feel this difference in this specific NPU architecture because all of these boards they have different wrappers around them which allow you to infer your neural networks. It's more important than the internal architecture of this wrapper. In general all this board you theoretically can infer through TeamVX but it's a little bit complicated. Specifically for this board uh, you should use uh, equity uh, toolkit um, from um, all winner. In my opinion it's like not the great toolkit but for the most classic neural network it's work great. I will touch this a little bit later when I will describe this board. So uh, let's go few other interesting point in my opinion related to this board. First of all mm, as you notice, it's Radx board. And Radx, in my opinion, is a super interesting company. I always follow in like the new boards because uh, sometimes they release new devices with new processors first. And it's a great uh, board to test a new processors uh, and new NPU chips. Uh, not all of this board has great support in my opinion. For example, you can check my video about MediaTek um, board and it was... Yeah. But uh, for some of the boards like rock chip boards, I knew a lot of companies which use them in the real production. These rock chip based boards, they are great. They uh, almost every time working well and Radx is definitely one of the best vendor to use this board. So, uh, this A7A is somewhere between. I don't have any problem with hardware, with general image, uh, but of course, like all this NPU support, I understand that it's not Radx a problem, it's like uh, drivers from uh, all winner and logic, but they could be better. The first important point it has FP16 support. For the board such chip, it's also pretty rare. A lot of boards only int 8, so really FP16, in my opinion, it's super important part. The second important part is there is no native Python API. And it's bad, of course. In my opinion, when you sell in some boards that you want to sell to some hobbyists, uh, hobby makers, uh, you need Python API. Uh, it's like can make your development much easier and in my opinion of course like when you're working with AI, AI you need some Python API around. C++ is available, with ChatGPT you easily can write your C++ code but I'm like the old man uh, with Python I don't like C++. 
I had a bad experience about it in the childhood. Uh, so um, let's go deeper. How to run your neural network? Again, this video has supplemented our, our article and all commands, they will be there. Uh, in general, let me go briefly through the process. First, you're preparing your ONNX file with some classical approach, doesn't matter. Next, you need to install Docker container uh, from that you can find on Radxa site uh, with Equity toolkit. This container working in general okay, just check a few hints about uh, how to run it. Uh, and this container, you should install this on your host PC uh, to prepare your models, which you can infer here. Inside the container, you just need to download the latest version from GitHub of Repo. And uh, in this uh, repo, you should uh, put your model and run, like prepare it in special config. And then you should run a few scripts, like one of them will export, the next will quantize, and the final will build. Also, you can like uh, make some adjustment middle there. So uh, as a result, you will have a file like NB resolution, and also uh, this building will create your some C++ code that you can use with this file. But in general, you just can you check examples and use all these examples instead. Uh, if you need just to test your network, you just easily can use the different tool, VPM run, mm, uh, which you of course need run on this board. And uh, with this, you can benchmark your boards. Uh, here I tested just a few models. The uh, real comparison of different neural networks required a lot of time because it's not only about uh, your uh, speed of one model, you need to benchmark a lot of model, you need to benchmark a different preparation and stuff like this. So uh, I didn't do this, just super basic comparison. I try to export a lot of different networks, well, like I usually do. Of course, all expected problems like there is not, it's not possible to export depth estimation networks. There are a lot of problems with transformer based networks, but some of them should work. Uh, pretty sad part, I was not able to export Dama Yolo, for example, but it seemed like it's possible. It's some problem with la last layers. So uh, there is not super good framework for this experts, like uh, not enough errors. Of course, you can debug this. So in general, uh, everything is working, but you need to spend some time to optimize your neural network specifically for this architecture. Out of the box, it's just some super classical like YOLO v5, RIS next. Uh, and other classification models. You shouldn't, ex if you want something out of the box, you need to work with this. Otherwise, you need just to plan some time on this model optimization. Mm, in my opinion, this board, uh, the main power, like the main strengths of this board and this could be series, it's super affordable price. For the best with all these functions for this price, you just can't find better board. The only competitor is uh, also boards from Radxa with uh, Rockchip board, but they are a little bit slower. The next interesting point, of course, is FP16 support. Not only FP16, it's BF16 and IN16, so you have some ability to variate your network. Also pretty rare for boards with such price and such size. Of course, you can find some MCU accelerators, but with them you will not have all these peripherals, not, will not have all Ubuntu. So in this class, this board, one of the cheap. Reasonable performance and energy efficient. Actually, this board, it's quite nice. What are the main weaknesses of this board? Mm. Framework is a little bit raw right now, in my opinion. 
it's required it's super nice that everything in one docker everything is working out the box as you know it's pretty rare uh, but a little bit lack of documentation a little bit lack of information how to optimize your network uh, a little bit lack of information how with errors why it was not exported and so on and so on it's the first point the second uh, lack of python api for such networks out of the box and of course it's not suitable for some complex neural network uh, which is expectable again for the board with some such size of memory such size and so on it's pretty rare when you can run some big neural network overall in my opinion it's definite this board definitely has its own niche some video camera inferences chip camera inferences some chip object detection classification uh, for heavier workloads or custom ml pipeline not the best board uh, but i'm glad that we have a new board uh, that can feel some needs uh, of the community so thank you for watching uh, i'm glad if you will share your experience and comments so bye